Right, hello. Um, this is uh, 9th of March, uh, it's 7.28 GMT, um, and um, it's Thursday. Right, smashing. Um, a few weeks ago, uh, I was looking at the crude oil, and uh, I said to you basically that uh, the uh, commercials had gone uh, heavily bearish. There's this extended bearish period down here, which, which actually receded a bit last week. And uh, I did put a trade on um, on oil, WTI. Never traded it before, but just on the um, on the information provided from the Commitment of Traders report, uh, I put that on. And we did have this nice fall in oil, oil prices yesterday, which basically, uh, if it breaks this level here, um i think it's going to continue down so we, we're going to hang on to the trade i've got my stop loss bought down to lock my profit in and um, that was very nice and that trade was com completely instigated by the commitment of traders report and uh, again silver silver i noticed on the commitment of traders report which i will show you here or um metals silver a bit more difficult to see but on the commitment to traders we've had this negative position uh, it's always been uh, negative on uh, on silver um, right the way back for a year uh, the um, the uh, the commercials have been negative on silver, but we had this huge sort of like they went very, very heavily uh, bearish on the um, on the old uh, silver. And we've gone into the trade and I've more or less picked the top out here. We had a lot of resistance. If you go back onto your monthly chart and your weekly chart, a lot of resistance there. So I saw the upside there as sort of not very much. And uh, the commitment of traders report was telling us it was going to short. And uh, yes, we followed through for the last six or seven days. So that, that's been a nice trade. I, you can see here uh, from my trend line on the RSI, how I timed it in. And uh, yes, that's done very well. Considering getting out of that now, because it's moving into heavy support, but uh, I've, you know, I really think that this trade over a period is going to follow on down uh, to, to the bottom here. The other one I got into, uh, again, just on the commitment of traders report, is the USD Mexican peso. Now, I've only been in that a couple of days and um, already we've uh, we've moved uh, long and I'm into a, a very small profit. Uh, but I think I think that's going to continue. Um, the commitment of traders report. I can just show you uh, currencies, Mexican peso. There we go. So, yes, there we go. Because of the heavy short position on the peso, the commercials, when they hedge it, uh, they will always be in a long position. So you have to look for when they have a less long position. Now, I know that won't make a lot of sense to people, but we had this big step down last week. And I thought, well, this is moving heavily bearish uh, of the peso. So uh, I've got my trade in. Uh, it is starting to come right. But can you see how the commitment of traders, it, uh, it really does lead you. Uh, in the right direction and on those trades I was in more or less at the top at the turning point um, if you can't follow what I'm doing this is the commitment of traders report from Andrew which is out on a Sunday every week he's got years of experience doing these things and he he, he sets it out and he gives you his reasoning behind it he looks at different currencies Australian dollar British pound etc uh, well worth a read um, so you know there we go and we'll, we'll just carry on now with the uh, with the normal report and we'll start with the out cad 
AUDCAD, um, yes, it's heading in the right direction. Uh, we've got um, a heavy position on the Australian dollar short through the commitment of traders. So uh, we're, we're looking for that uh, to, to bear fruit. Yes, and we have the AUD USD. We, that, this is following down nicely. As you can see, I am in more or less at the top. These, these are quite heavy positions. This is fairly light, but we have all this way short to fall. And the commitment to traders again with, is with us. So uh, we're quite happy with that, uh, with that pair. Uh, if I can move on quickly to uh, a pair I've been asked about. This is the Euro CHF. And um, I'd just like to show you quite a few reasons why I wouldn't really want to trade this pair. Uh, basically, if you look on the daily chart, uh, the top and bottom of the Bollinger Band, uh, there's nearly a hundred pips. So that's your reward. And then if we move on to a weekly chart, right, and you've got uh, basically the stochastics looking up, the RSI is looking flat, uh, the um, oh, what do you call it? The the black swan isn't helping things, but there we go. You've still got the same result there. Uh, you move it onto a monthly chart, and um, you've still got, uh, yeah, you're up on the RSI, the stochastics down the bottom. So it does look like there's quite a lot of upside possibly to this one. Um, and uh, when you go onto the monthly chart, yeah. And you look small like that. Uh, where's that from? Okay, this this here maybe I'll do it a bit bigger. <laughs> Say there is a lot of support there. There is a lot lot of support across the bottom here. Uh, the downside to it doesn't look that that good. It looks like more upside. Now, I cannot see any point of trading that when you can trade the Euro JPY. And, uh, yeah, Euro JPY. Um, I mean, here uh, you've got heavy support, uh, heavy resistance above it. Um, now, you want to short it, and you've got a lot of downside. That's like a, about 800 pips to the downside. This would be a much safer um, risk reward trade than the Euro CHF. Now, Forex will always prove you wrong, you know, and tomorrow that will drop a thousand pips, but I, I think it's unlikely. Same with the Euro CAD, which is the next one. Um, I, I, I really, uh, I'm short the, the CAD, I'm short the Euro. I wouldn't really want to trade that pair. Uh, Euro GB. It it's it, you know it does look all right on the chart, but I wouldn't want to trade it. Euro USD might get into that later. Pound USD don't want to get into that at the moment. Uh, USD JPY yes, I'm already in that. Um, and this this is the same. There's a lot of downside to it. Lot of resistance uh, at, at the top here. So uh, I, I think that's a, a good. Um, short trade. Uh, we've already done that. USD CAD. That's following on nicely. Here's my target at the top, and that's following on through nicely. Have we done that? Euro CHF. Yes. I think the other one that was mentioned was the AUD JPY. Yeah, we're already in this. This is the AUD JPY. This was the other one that was mentioned. This again is lovely. You've got all this downside, not a lot of upside. And if you look back onto the monthly chart, yep, look at the monthly chart. Stochastics at the top going down. You know, the, the CFTCs are with you. Um, there's a lot of resistance above. And uh, just just there's a lot of way to, to fall with this. And uh, yep. I'm with that one. That that's even. Let's have a look at the weekly chart. Same again. So, yes, 
I'm in that. I think I consider that to be a good short trade. So thank you for watching. Sorry it was a bit rushed. I'm trying to get it done quickly so as I don't get too boring. Um, and uh, see you tomorrow. Cheers now.